Thanks for checking in for another one of my videos. Today, as the title of the video suggested, coming at you with a gear review video. Today we're looking at the Spartan Michael Clark Limited Edition Batting Gloves for season 2015-16. All right guys, let's get into it. By no doubt, those of you that have been a uh, subscriber or watcher of my videos for a while have realized that I am a, uh, a little bit addicted to, uh, to softs and uh, I picked up a uh, uh, bit of kit at the end of the year on, a, on about a 40% discount. And uh, so one of those uh, pick up were the, uh, the Spartan Michael Clark limited edition batting gloves. Now these are the gloves that were used by Michael Clark through the twilight of his career. So that's through um, the West Indies and then through the unsuccessful Ashes tour of, uh, of England, obviously um, in 2015 before his retirement. So they are test match quality gloves and are a more traditional design the way that Michael Clark, um, Michael Clark's probably the, the, the last of the more traditional cricketers inside the Australian team. There's still a number of guys that do prefer the, uh, the more traditional design and, and Sausage Figure is, is spruced as being a, a greater level of protection and so that's why it's used by the guys at the, at the international um, level. So going through the design of these gloves, they are a, a, a high density foam and, um, and then each finger is actually caged with a, with a fibre cage. Something that's a bit unusual about these particular gloves is that not only are the, uh, the uh, additional fibre inserts for protection on those bottom two fingers um, of, the, uh, of the hand closest to the ball, so it's on the bottom of the bat, but those are also on the, uh, also on the top hand. That's, uh, that's on you know, the hand that's furthest away from the ball. That doesn't make much sense to me. And the only thing that I can think of is potentially um, when Spartan are going through the actual design of their gloves, they don't specify a left or a right-handed glove, you know, whether or not the thumb protection is on the, uh, on the left or the right hand, until later in the manufacturing process. And so they do have, you know, so they do, uh, you know, across those um, gloves, they are you know, identical except when it comes to the, to, the thumb, to, the thumb, uh, to the thumb protection. So, not sure what the story is there, and I, of course I'm not linked with, uh, with Spartan or any um, manufacturer at all to, to know what that is, but that was sort of my sort of bit of the theory was, perhaps it's, it's uh, later in the manufacturing process that that occurs. Well, it's the, uh, uh, being a test match quality glove, they've of course got side of hand protection, so that's on the top part of the bottom hand and the bottom part of the top hand, uh, I hope that makes sense. Those of you who are cricketers, um, of course, that um, should hopefully make sense, and that's just a, an added level of, of um, uh, or an added feature around the protection uh, component of the actual glove. These are a uh, are a sheep uh, leather palm design. Uh, the uh, the thumb guys, uh, it is a split finger or a shark tooth uh, design. That's where it's the the interlocking uh, the interlocking thumb, uh, and that of course has the has the fibre reinforcing on that. Very impressed with that. A couple of the additional features, we do have the, uh, the mesh venting along the side, that's um, good for ventilation. You have ventilation up each one of the fingers as well as a, uh, as kind of a, a shield um, uh, design or, or a triangle design there through the, uh, uh, through the palm for, for, the, for that um, moisture flow as well, or that ventilation as well. Uh, extra wearing patches across the, the places that you need them, so that's on the corners of the palm, and of course through that um, uh, point at, at holding the bat uh, on the right hand as well. Uh, so that's another bit of extra piece. And these guys come with a mesh uh, ventilated thumb as well. Some people are a little bit critical of that and say that for a, for a high, um, you know, for a top of the range glove, we'd like to see a full leather, uh, you know, a, a full leather glove. Now, of course, these were designed in conjunction with Michael Clark, and so Michael Clark's preference there is to have a bit of as much ventilation as he can get into his gloves, and so that, of course, is why that uh, that is a is a mesh. It makes it a little bit cheaper to manufacture, but my, they wouldn't have skimped on the manufacturing of Michael Clark's gloves for for the uh, for the former Australian Test captain. Well, so these have a have a full embossed logo on the uh, the actual um, fastening strap, and that's another piece is a is a good uh, two inch. Uh, and a good two-inch sweatband as well, which is also good for um, for that comfort uh, comfort level. Well, it's the one final thing to mention is that those of you who have followed my channel for a while will know that I do have a bit of a habit uh, or, or a bit obsessive compulsive in regards to uh, customising my softs. Now these are no different. What I've actually got in and needed to do is remove the little leather tabs that are at the end of each one of the fingers. 
Now I haven't removed those. What I have done is I've got in with a very sharp pair of scissors and I've been very, very careful and I've actually cut those leather strips away. Now the reason for that, this is the first set of gloves that I've needed to do that in. But what I found with these particular gloves was my hands are, are very, uh, I've got quite long fingers. And so what I was finding that by putting my, my uh, when I put my hands into the gloves, because of that extra length in my fingers, I was getting the, the ends of my fingers pinched. Now, I was a bit concerned about removing the, those little leather tabs until I stopped and went back and had a look at the SS limited edition batting gloves, which again, were used by Kumar Sangakara through, um, through the twilight of his international career, and he's still using them now. But uh, when I had a look at those, there was no leather tabs at all on the end of the fingers. Uh, and so that gave me a, a lot of more comfort essentially taking those away, because I've been using those, those gloves for about 12 months and had, uh, did, hadn't had a problem with getting hit and having the padding move. And so that's essentially what it's designed is to, to keep the padding in place close to your fingers and so you, you, know, you don't have a problem there. And I kind of figured if um, it was okay for Kumar Sangakara for the five or six years at the end of his career, I should be okay as well. Well, the, probably the one last thing to mention about these gloves is of course that they, that Michael Buck has now retired and they have discontinued the, uh, the Michael Clark line to a certain extent. I have been on the Spartan website and found that they are releasing the Michael Clark Legacy Edition range this year. However, due to the fact that Michael Clark has retired, my local um, distributor and, and I've looked around Australia and websites of all organisations around Australia, they don't seem to be stocking the, uh, the Michael Clark Legacy range either. So it'll be interesting to see where they pop up. Um, I have seen some videos of Michael Clark using those particular gloves in the, in the nets, and of course Joe Burns used them uh, through, um, through New Zealand and, and the sort of the latter part of the Australian summer as well. So it'll be interesting to see where they pop up. The thing that I have been keen to look at, because uh, I believe that Joe Burns' new product, the Spartan Hurricane, are also an identical match. They're not released in stores yet. In stores yet. My local cricketing distributor here in Brisbane hasn't got their Spartan gear in yet. Spartan again have been dragging their heels and, and it will be the last to come in with their full range of kit the same way that they were last year. So uh, I'm pretty keen to see those when they when they are released. Guys, the final piece that I have decided I am going to do on my videos going forward is a ranking out of 10 for these particular products. Now, uh, for these particular guys, I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10. The first one of those is there are a couple of features where the finishing, they are a mass produced product, they're not made by hand. Uh, to a, a, an extremely watchful eye. They are mass produced products, so of course it means you have a couple of those finishing touches that aren't quite as high as what you, um, you might expect from a, uh, from a, a best product or, or, a, or a handmade, custom made um, product. Uh, so that's the first piece. The other one that I'm a little bit disappointed about was um, around those, um, those finger strips. Now, oh, I think that that could be something isolated to an issue for me. I am also having a little bit of a problem where the, uh, the Actual join, I suppose, between the side mesh and the uh, uh, and the actual leather is rolling in, so I'm actually having the corner is right underneath my finger. It's a little bit of an issue again, which is one of those. Um, it could be something specific to to me, but overall, uh, very impressed with the with the product. And I had did use these through the end of last summer. That's the Australian season for 15, 16. So um, I did use them in about four or five innings, and a couple of those were were quite lengthy ones. And again, have that case of, of sweating through them, let them dry out, and they're good as gold. They're, they're again, uh, a number of nets there, or a net session or so in them as well, and um, they some um, that you know brand new uh, smell uh, of, the, of the gloves being, being essentially still being a, a brand new product. Well, so that's my review of the Spartan Michael Clark Limited Edition Batting Gloves for Season 15-16. Well, as always, if you do have any questions or any comments, drop those down in the comment, uh, comment section. I'm more than happy to, um, to review those and, and provide feedback. Was well, the one final thing to mention that um, I will just drop in. If you are a long time watcher but not a subscriber, I'd really appreciate it if you did get in and hit that subscribe button. Not only do you get notifications as to when I release new videos, but I actually get quite a thrill from, uh, from the iPhone going off and it ends up being a, an email and, and I have a look and there's another subscriber now. To, uh, to bat and ball cricket, another cricket tragic or another cricket fanatic, uh, whichever the case may be. So I really appreciate it if you did hit that uh, subscribe button. 
Alright guys, and that uh, concludes my, uh, my video for today. Uh, guys, stay tuned. I do have uh, a number of other videos that I do need to pump out as well. It's been about 12 months since I've done any recording, and I sat on some footage for about six months before um, for actually releasing that video. So, guys, I am pretty keen to, um, to get out a number of videos in the next couple of weeks leading into the Australian summer, so stay tuned for those. Alright guys, this is Clinton from Bat and Ball Cricket. Thanks for checking in. I'll catch you again really soon. Off and out.